Hello everyone, I'm Jun from Yahoo Japan Corporation. So it's my honor to be here and give a presentation to all of you. Uh, the topic of my presentation is operation and custom plugins for high availability in Yahoo Japan. So at first, please let me introduce myself. Uh, I am a set reliability engineer at Yahoo Japan, responsible for the development and maintenance of multi-tenant API gateway and supporting API gateway users company-wide. Currently, our team is working on internal and external API gateway platform using Kong. Thank you. So my hobby is playing playing games such as PlayStation 4 game, Nintendo Switch game. Uh, recently, I'm really into Monster Hunter World Iceborne. The screenshot shows I delivered the final blow to Monster. So here is today's agenda. The first, I will explain the usage stats of Yahoo Japan and talk about how we use Kong. Then followed by how we use Ansible to automatically deploy Kong server and share some custom plugins which we developed for company-wide users. Finally, I will talk about our issues and the future work. So let's look at Kong usage stats in Yahoo Japan. So Yahoo Japan is one of the biggest photo sites in Japan. So we offer over 100 web-based services, including search engine, auction, news, weather, sports, email, shopping, and so on. And this number keeps growing. So in order to, to handle those services, more than 100 and 50,000 bell metal servers are running 24 hours a day. So note that they are all bell metal, not virtual. So over 150,000 servers process more than 74 billion page views per month at 2018. As you can see, Yahoo Japan is a huge site. So we provide API Gateway platform with Kong Enterprise Edition. So here is the timetable of API Gateway platform since October last year. So on the first day of October last year, we released internal and external API Gateway in production environment. So we also updated Kong two times in March and May this year. Currently, we finished updating API Gateway to 0.36-1 last week. Here is configurations has been created. So more than 220 workspaces, 590 services, 690 routes have been created in one con cluster till last month. The request second is more than 7,000 on average, and it will exceed to 12,000 on one cluster. OK, I think you have got the scale of Kong in Yahoo Japan from what I said earlier. So next, I'd like to talk about how we use Kong and what role played by Kong in Yahoo Japan. So we offer two Kong cluster as API gateway platform for backend developers. The GSLB, which is Global Server Load Balancer, is a network equipment which directs network traffic to a group of data centers in different locations. In this case, backend developers could free to choose Kong clusters depending on their availability requirements. For example, some services are provided in East, East Data Center only, when other some services are provided in both East and West Data Center. So we also provide two core clusters for front-end developers. The front-end developers offer Yahoo Japan services to external clients, which is end user. And the Kong 
process external request to internal front-end servers. So this is overview of Kong architecture of Yahoo Japan. So our team provide four Kong clusters to company-wide developers, which contain 240 Kong nodes in total. So access from external clients received by GSLB at first. But GSLB distributes the request to the Kong for front-end, which located in the east and the west data centers. So at this time, uh, GSLB selects Kong cluster that data center is closer to the external client, and request would be received by select Kong cluster. Also, request could be received by Kong cluster directly. It depends on configuration by developers. I also want to show how we fail over requests from failed server to another healthy server by active standby plugin. And I will talk about active standby in detail in custom plugins part. Kong cluster at the East data center proxies request to front end server in general. And this front end server also at East data center. And Kong checks upstream health on a regular basis. If one of front end server is not able to function normally, Active Standby plugin could fail over all the requests to the other healthy front end server, which at, at West Data Center. Kong for backend also can do the same thing. So, in this case, we could continue offering our services even if one of front end or back end server has been crashed. Of course, proxies will be returned to the original front end or back end server after failed server has been recovered. So in conclusion, we have 240 nodes in total for Kong clusters. So here comes the question. How would you organize and deploy so many nodes automatically? So we use Ansible to solve this problem. So in this session, I would talk about deploy Kong with Ansible. So I'm not sure Ansible is the best one to deploy Kong. So if you have, a, have better solutions, I'd like to discuss with you after presentation. First, let me introduce complicated Yahoo Japan internal network briefly. So if we want to log in to one production server, we need to access to Springboard server using one-time password at first. Then access to production server from Springboard. So when we deploy Kong, we need to access to every Kong node from local PC and install necessary packages and do environment settings. As you remember, we have 240 nodes. So we use Ansible to implement automatic deploy. So Ansible is an IT automation tool. It can configure systems, deploy software using Ansible playbook. Playbooks can describe a set of steps in general IT process, such as package install and environment settings. So we put Ansible playbook on Git but the thing is, we can't use Git at production environment directly. So we have to pack source code to RPM packages and publish to Artifactory using screwdriver. Then we can install RPM package with YAM. So when playbook was updated, new playbook would be published to Artifactory by screwdriver and we SSH to Ansible deploy server and install the latest playbook. Then execute Ansible playbook and it can help us to deploy Kong to multiple production server without any authentications. So this is example for setting group variables configuration of Ansible. Original Kong config file would be updated by what we configured here. 
such as Kong log level to arrow and custom plugins listed here would be installed by Ansible. What's more, we also can arrange SSL certificate key other required packages. So all of them could deploy with Ansible. So now, now I would like to share three custom plugins. The first one is traffic abuse prevention. So this plugin sends required information to traffic abuse prevention server from Kong server and check if requests meet the requirements. For example, if developer decide each user could access only 10 times in one minute, then from 11th access would be denied by this plugin. So that could protect from DOS attack. Perhaps you think this function is the same with rate limiting. Yes, they are similar. But rate limiting plugin do not satisfy our requirements. We need to check from Yahoo ID or user agent header or access URL or other attribute when rate limiting plugin can do IP or header or X forwarded for check. The second, class, <coughs> the second custom plugin is sorry page. So this figure shows the typical cons behavior in normal. If all the proxy destination nodes become unhealthy state, con can block traffic to upstream and return a fixed response immediately without processing request. Sorry page plugin could respond customized content and status code to end users instead of fixed response. And developers could customize that for each endpoint. The third plugin is active standby. So Kong would proxy request to API node of first cluster in normal. If all the proxy destination API nodes become unhealthy state, Active Standby plugin could switch all requests to API node of second cluster. Of course, after one of API node of first class cluster has been recovered, proxies will be returned to first cluster. So also, we think this function could implement by canary release. So why we develop this plugin? Here is a comparison of configuration required by Canary and Active Standby. So as you can see, Canary have much more parameters need to be filled. Users spend more time to read or understand documents to implement Active Standby functionality using this plugin. Active Standby has only one parameter, so it is easier to understand and more simple uses than Canary release plugin. But this plugin is for Active Standby only, so the functionality is not as rich as Canary. Finally, I would talk about our future work. As future work on API Gateway platform, four major tasks to tackle with our current issues. The first issue is developers need to see matrix data of their own service. We are going to provide Grafana service to developers using Kong Vitals. One more thing is actually, two months ago, Someone teased Yahoo Japan services on Twitter. The front end server responded internal error message directly to the end user, so which is Kong error. 
So he or she tweeted, Hey, Yahoo, what is Kong era? Who is Gorilla? So the second issue is display Kong era to end users is not expected, especially for front-end developers. And we will develop a custom plugin for front-end developers to show customized error page to end users instead of Kong era. The last issue is deployment still is a big work for our team because we still need to SSH Ansible deploy server and install the latest playbook. And we can only deploy 50, 50 nodes most at one time. So we need to do the same operation more than 16 times to deploy all nodes. So we plan to implement automatic deployment. The ideal form is we only need to arrange source code on Git after we updated the master branch. Screwdriver would help us finish everything, which can reduce maintenance cost. Finally, we are planning to increase Kong nodes to improve performance in future. Thank you. Ah, sorry. So one more thing. I also would like to show, show you our metric data on Grafana. So here is the data for last 24 hours. So the peak re request per second is about 15,000. 15, so is, is there anything you want to, you want to see or? So also, our senior manager and technical director here. So if you have any question, we can discuss now. What kind of storage do you use in persistence? Are you using the, the MySQL, uh, sorry, Postgres, or are you using Cassandra? Yeah, Cassandra. So that's a separate cluster? Yes. How do you back Cassandra? Sorry? Ten, 10 nodes. So 10 nodes for one, one con cluster. Any questions? Cool, thank you. <laughs>